Oh, guys, let's talk today about a gun that I kind of do want. Now, recently, we talked about the stealth arms, platypus. I, I will admit it's an interesting gun, but looking at it, it doesn't really speak to me. It's like I don't, I don't have the desire to buy it looking at it. I can logic through it and just be like, yes, it is this feature set for this money. You know, the build quality looks like this, whatever. It, 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 it's a sensible gun to get in a way. I get it. But it doesn't speak to me. I don't really want it. But there is a gun that I kind of, I mean, it's, it's funny to say it. I'm kind of thinking about buying it. And that's the Staccato XL. Like another Staccato, another fucking Staccato, another Staccato. Yes. Kind of thinking about it. Let me talk you through it. So, uh, well, the first one I got, the Stegler, the old XC here. Why is this a good gun to have? Well, because it's cool. I think obviously. I mean, uh, it's too expensive and it's sort of silly, but if you get past that, it's kind of fun to shoot. It's just a, you know, it's a crazy comped out nine millimeter light trigger. They call it a duty gun, <laughs> sell it to cops. Very interesting gun and a fun gun to shoot. Like, yeah, this very sensible to get. This is the serious Staccato, the P. You know, it's less aggressive than the XC, no comp on it. But, you know, more cops are carrying this type of thing. And it's sort of like the dutyified 2011. So this makes sense to have. Now, this isn't as flat shooting as the XC. I would say it's it's soft. You know, it's just like a soft little push that does this thing. Now, if I was actually going to compete with uh, with the Staccato, like compete in a match, I don't think either of these is the play. You know, the uh, the uh, comp is an issue for USPSA, especially. Puts this gun in open. That doesn't really make much sense. The Staccato P would be all right. You could shoot this in limited optics. But... There's a better option. There's the XL, which is the same thing, just a longer slide. The gun I would I've shot an XL. I will admit uh, they feel they feel like a P. They're just softer, like so that the sight doesn't rise as much when you're shooting it, but it still feels uh, aggressive when you shoot it. Like uh, the 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 slide reciprocates really nicely if you have it sprung right. So it's like a it's a it cycles quickly. Um, so you don't like a lot of times when you make the gun too soft, like I don't like that feel like I want the gun to cycle really aggressively, but at the same time, not bounce up a lot in recoil, you know, for a competition gun and the XL kind of fits that bill. Um, and then in a competition setting, the, uh, the P would make a fine backup. So I don't know, guys, what do you think? I'm kind of thinking about a staccato XL and even more so, it's like I'm thinking. It, I, I'm thinking about it. Like I've bought two staccatos already this year. There's plenty of staccatos, but little birdies are telling me that the XL is getting discontinued this year. Which means, like, if I want one, um, and I assume they'll put out a different version of the XL later that just uses proprietary mags or some kind of dumb shit like that. Like, if I just want the straight up like staccato XL as they build it now, where it, um is still a proper 2011 that uses normal magazines. Like I might just have to get it now. So that's kind of the thought process. It's the gun that I would actually use like in matches. They might go away soon. You know, that's some, like, oh, maybe I should get one on the, on the uh, other side. It's uh, ridiculous to buy another one of these things, but that's not a super powerful argument for me, I suppose. So anyway, I'll put it to you guys. What do you think? Staccato XL. Should I get this hoe or should I not? The internet will tell me, I think.